Welcome to the divided states of America. You know, because which America are you from? All right, so here's the deal. The year, the year is 2024 and America is fractured. A brutal second civil war has beat up the country like the rock on Cody Rhodes. What's up, my YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to dive head first into that latest movie from A24, Civil War. Now, hold up, hold up. Let me guess what you're thinking. Big budget war epic, explosions galore, maybe even Captain America's great great grandson suplexing a tank, right? Wrong. Hold on to your butts because this is not your typical war movie, all right? is A24 folks and we're here to change your expectations. So is Civil War worth your hard earned cash? Let's break it down with the good, the bad, and a little bit of sarcasm as our verbal version of hot sauce. Because seriously, who's still walking around without their own hot sauce anymore? That's a metaphor for what you're going to need when watching this movie if you didn't get it. Welcome to the divided states of America. You know, because which America are you from? All right, so here's the deal. The year, the year is 2024 and America is fractured. A brutal second civil war has beat up the country like the rock on Cody Rhodes, leaving a dystopian landscape of war zones and refugee camps. Now, we never get the full backstory on what sparked the conflict, except for a hint of a president enjoying a third term as president but it's clear things are messy they yeah i don't know lois lane meets mad max with the dash of oh crap this could actually happen thrown in for good measure enter our main crew lee miller who is a hardened war photographer with nerves of steel played by the phenomenal kirsten dunst and her colleague joel a journalist with a brooding intensity that's wagner Moore bringing his a-game now we all know Kirsten. We do. But some of us aren't yet initiated and are just now seeing Wagner. This is the guy who brought Pablo Escobar to life in the amazing Netflix series Narcos. For real, if you haven't seen my guy crushing it in Narcos, you should go check that out. Anyway, they head out on a dangerous journey across this war-torn America. This is where things get interesting. Civil War is not a movie about epic battles or heroic soldiers. I know, right? Instead, this is a character-driven road trip through the wreckage of a nation. We see the human cost of war through Lee's lens, and she captures the brutality on the people caught in the crossfire. It's a powerful portrayal that'll make you think twice about the glorification of war, especially in today's climate. Now, the journey is not smooth sailing. They pick up a tag along named Jessie, a rookie photographer played by Kaylee Spaney. Bless her heart, this girl makes more bad decisions than a squirrel with a gambling addiction. But hey, at least she keeps things interesting, right? We also get some stellar performances from Stephen McKinley Henderson as Sammy, the seasoned journalist who mentors the group and brings a grounded semblance of of sense to the film. And then there's Jesse Plemons, who makes a chilling appearance as a soldier who terrorizes the F out of our group. You'll definitely think my guy is channeling his inner Breaking Bad Todd in this scene, and I am here for it. All right, let's talk about, you know, the good. The cast, stellar. Kirsten Dunst is phenomenal as Lee Miller this hardened war photographer who's seen it all. This is a character we can all instantly recognize and understand, especially my Spider-Man video game players. Wagner Mora brings his signature intensity as her colleague Joel. He's like the moody jazz music to Lee's gritty punk rock photography. See what I did there? It's weird, isn't it? That's a little foreshadowing for you and a sprinkle of metaphor for me. Do you get it? Also, some of the visuals are downright gorgeous. Alex Garland knows how to paint a grim picture, and fans of the movie 28 weeks later already know what to expect. 
Civil War is no exception and will probably satisfy when it comes to seeing a semi-dystopian contemporary United States. There are some seriously breathtaking shots with some of my favorite moments happening when we see recognizable landmarks and monuments even if they're depicting a country literally falling apart. Kind of like the Bronx. But that's it for the good. Let's talk about the not so good aspects of the movie and even some pretty substantial letdowns. The biggest letdown? The trailers. They straight up lied to us y'all. This is not a war epic movie. This is a journalist road trip movie set against the backdrop of a second civil war. We never really learned why the whole civil war thing kicked off or what's even happening in the rest of the world. Did China have an opinion? How about Russia? Are aliens just chilling and watching the whole thing unfold like some messed up reality TV show? We have no idea and the movie doesn't explain it either. This feels like it's going to get people upset and fuel the fire for unfounded conspiracy theories and political commentary. It doesn't really take a side in the politics of it all and the way it toes the line is really unsatisfying. I wish the movie would have just cleared up some of these things but this is the reality we live in. Now the soundtrack is another head scratcher. Like they throw in random rock music that clashes with the film's serious tone and then jazz or hip hop appear like uninvited guests at a funeral. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Like finding birthday cake sprinkles on your favorite pepperoni pizza. Like who thought this was a good idea and who let this happen? And then, all right, let's talk about the characters again, just for one more second. I'm, look, Lee, awesome. We already established that. But then there's Jesse, the rookie photographer tagging along. This girl makes bad decisions faster than you can say friendly fire. She's basically the damsel in distress trope personified, but somehow Kaylee Spagney makes her more annoyingly endearing. Like you kind of want to strangle her, but then you also secretly hope she makes it out alive. It's like a weird mix and I hate when characters like this appear in movies. They're really conflicting and for me, really diminish my enjoyment of the overall story when they're not used in a satisfying way. And then there's Stephen McKinley Henderson. Like this dude is a scene stealer every single time he's on screen. He plays Sammy, the seasoned journalist who mentors Lee and Joel. And uh, seriously, my guy is a national treasure and I won't ruin it here, but man, you know what? Let's save that for the comments, all right? L let's save that one for the comments. We'll talk about it there. Speaking of stealing scenes, shout out to Jesse Plemons for his short but impactful role as a soldier. This dude brings the creepy Breaking Bad Todd intensity that'll stay with you long after the credits roll. So what are my overall thoughts? Is Civil War 2024 from A24 a must watch? That depends on what you're looking for. If you're craving a deep dive into the causes and consequences of our current political climate and the all too real feeling that it could lead to a second civil war, you will be disappointed. The film focuses more on the human stories and the emotional toll of conflict. It's like when people go to see a Godzilla movie but the movie focuses on the annoying humans. But hey, if you're down for a suspenseful character study with some fantastic performances and stunning visuals, then Civil War might just surprise you. It's a slow burn, but it packs a punch. Just be prepared for a wild ride with some unexpected turns and a healthy dose of A24 polish. Here's the bottom line. Civil War is a thought-provoking film that will stay with you long after the credits roll. It's not your typical war movie, but that's what makes it interesting. If you're looking for something different, check it out. Just don't expect Captain America to show up and save the day. They don't do that here. Overall, I'm giving Civil War a surprising 7 out of 10. I know, I'm surprised too. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Civil War. Did it live up to the hype or was it a mess? Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more reviews, and until next time, 
Peace.